Hi everyone, this is Dr. Jubash from Total Health and Wellness Center. What I'm going to talk about today in today's video, I'm going to discuss how the use of birth control pills and its effect on the thyroid gland. You can see that the birth, use of birth controls decreases the thyroid function. And this is where you, know, you, get, you get weight gain as a side effect when you go on birth controls, birth control pills and other things. So what happens is when you're on birth control, again, that is estrogen. And the female, the average female makes about 20 to 25 times more progesterone in their system than estrogen. So when you're on birth control pills, you're actually decreasing your progesterone levels, which in turn is making you estrogen dominant. So when you're, when you're estrogen dominant, what happens is that it decreases your thyroid function. Okay. Now this is the menstrual cycle. It's days, it's 20, on the average it's 28 days from zero to 28, where the ovulation occurs on day 14. So the first half of the phase is the follicular phase. This is when the follicle inside the ovary, the, the egg inside the ovary, is growing and growing and growing. And then finally about day 14, you get a hormonal surge, luteinizing hormone. That releases the egg. Then the egg turns into what's called the corpus luteum. Okay? And you can see on this chart here how the first half of the menstrual cycle, you're going to be estrogen dominant. And the second half of the cycle, you're going to be progesterone do dominant. Now progesterone... Again, that breaks down to progestation, because if you do get pregnant, you're going to create a, you're, you're going to create another human being inside the uh, uterus. So that's where progestation comes along. However, if you don't get pregnant, you have your menstrual cycle, and it all starts off from the very beginning. However, when you're taking birth control pills, you're tricking your body. So what happens is that you're not going to have any ovulation. No ovulation is going to occur. So no cor no corpus luteum is going to be formed. And what's going to happen, you're going to have a decrease in progesterone. So what, in turn, you're going to become estrogen dominant. And when you're estrogen dominant, it lowers the thyroid function. So what happens when you're estrogen dominant, how it decreases the thyroid? There's three different ways that I'm, just going, to, that I'm going to explain it. One is the conversion factor. Now, T4 and T3. T, uh, T4 is produced in the thyroid gland in inactive form, and then it's circulated in the, throughout the system to active T3, and that's conversion. When you have high estrogen in your system, it lowers the conversion from T, inactive T4 to T3, so this could be one of the reasons why you have a low-functioning thyroid. Two, there's taxi cabs called thyroid-binding globulins. Now, it's a transport protein. We call them, we say it's the taxi cabs. The taxi cabs that transports the hormones to the, throughout the system. Now those taxi cabs, estrogen and the thyroid hormone share, share the same taxi cab. However, when you are on, when you're estrogen dominant, when you're taking birth control pills, those taxi cabs don't want to release the thyroid hormone throughout the system because what they're doing, they're utilizing the estrogen more. So this is where you're gonna have a lower free T3. This is the free T3 levels. This is the biologically active hormone hormone that you want. Okay. So again, you're going to have increased thyroid binding globulins because those are the taxi cabs because it's too much es too much estrogen. So you're, this is where your free T3 levels will decrease, and you have a low functioning thyroid. Also, too, decreased methyl groups. Now, methyl groups. That's a different explanation altogether. In a nutshell, what methyl groups do, they turn on and off the DNA which creates the proteins. So we're talking about at the cellular level, at the basic cellular level inside your nucleus. There's a nucleus inside of every cell in your body and the methyl groups are needed. So when you're estrogen dominant, you decrease the methyl groups. So at the cellular level, you're slowing down the body, how the body works at the cellular level. So this is where you're getting a decreased thyroid function. Now, if you're a diabetic, on diabetes medication, if you're on antidepressants, those two will decrease the methyl groups as well. So this is where a side effect of being on diabetic medication and antidepressants and birth control pills will give you a low functioning thyroid because you're more estrogen dominant. Now, on a side note, cancers love estrogen. So this is where the increase of breast cancer, uterine cancer, ovarian cancer, also to cysts, uterine fibroids, because what's happening is that a lot of females, and also too, due to, due to the foods, the GMO foods, the dairy products, they're giving a lot of estrogen to those animals, okay? So a lot of estrogen means decreased thyroid. So these are the reasons why, again, birth control pills affect your thyroid. So I hope you enjoy the video, and thank you very much.